Jalen Field, Dan Schulman, Buck Martinez, or Rashmadani. Glad you're with us for tonight's opener of this three-game series between the Blue Jays and the New York Mets trying to make a run at a wild card spot of the National League. Their first year manager is Luis Rojas. A very calm, uh, low key, measured presence, we understand, amidst all the turmoil that can swirl around the New York Mets from time to time. Here's the starting lineup for the Mets brought to you by TD. Proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays, and these guys can hit. Michael Conforto is having a terrific year 340, eight home runs, a nine. 90 OPS over a thousand against right handers Dominic Smith's having a big year Pete Alonzo is hot Jeff McNeil is hot this is going to be uh, a tough lineup tonight for Chase Anderson of the Blue Jays it will indeed be a tough lineup for Chase Anderson but he's just happy it's not the Boston Red Sox the Red Sox he's faced three times and they have hit him hard they hit him to the tune of 333 and he had a 750 earned run average everybody else he's pitched well against in the past he's pitched pretty well against the New York Mets he has made eight, seven starts against the Mets with a two and two record and a very good ERA at 392 as we know Chase is a four pitch pitcher he uses a fastball he had a very good curveball last time out but he gave up three home runs to the Red Sox in the second inning J.D. Martinez, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Bobby Dalbeck all took him deep in that second inning. And that's when he had most of his problems, but he's looking forward to bouncing back tonight in the opener against the Mets. Defensively, for the Blue Jays, it's Gurriel Grichik and Kevin Biggio. Biggio again in right field, making his eighth start out there. Espinosa in short, panics his second. Shaw at third, Guerrero's at first, and Danny Jansen. I think Danny's a key tonight to try to get Anderson into the strike zone early. Dennis, Danny's making his 30th start behind the plate, and now with the addition of Alejandro Kirk, Danny is by far the most experienced catcher on the roster now. Yep, yeah, a slew of roster moves for the Blue Jays today. Alejandro Kirk joining the roster. Jacob Waggispack is back, and Ken Giles is on the active roster as well. Looks like a nice night in Buffalo. 17 Celsius, 63 Fahrenheit, clear skies, a bit of a breeze. As the Blue Jays open up a three game set with the Mets the Jays 24 and 19 the five seed in the American League the Mets 20 and 24 two and a half out of a playoff spot as Anderson misses down and away ball one. You will see a lot of left handed bats tonight for the Mets six of their nine hitters are lefties. A lineup Obichette's not yet back hopefully in a couple of days and back up in the three spot tonight is Travis Shaw who has been swinging the bat well look at what he's done over the last six games ten hits including five extra base hits Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is also back in the lineup hitting in the five spot. Now the Blue Jays will get their first look at Jacob DeGrom he is making his debut against the Blue Jays he's never faced the Jays and look at those numbers there. Stellar across the board 169 and run average opponents hitting 177 70 strikeouts in 48 innings and Jacob DeGrom is one of the best in the game. He's won back to back Cy Young Awards. He just turned 32 on the 19th of June. He is definitely in the prime of his career. He is the hardest throwing starting pitcher in base night. <laughs> Let's take a look at the defense for the Mets. McNeil, Nimmo, and Conforto in the outfield. Andres Jimenez is at shortstop, but he's done a nice job. He's a youngster that has really stabilized the infield. He's also swinging the bat well. He has played 15 games at short. He has not committed an error at short. He's also played a little second, a little third base, but he has really stabilized things defensively at shortstop. The defense is brought to you by TD, proud fan of.